incredible three-dimensional scan of the shipwreck of the Titanic. Just one problem that I have with this whole thing, where is the side swipe damage that was supposedly to have occurred from that iceberg that sank the ship? Well, Mr. History X, it's right here. Here is another angle of it on the new 3D scan. While this new 3D scan shows it pretty clearly, this is not a new discovery as it was seen in the 2012 mosaic. This was also discussed in this clip from the documentary Drain the Titanic. When they scan the bow closer, they find another clue. Right above the sediment line, there's a row of plates uh, in the bow where it seems like you can just see empty rivet holes. This is the evidence they've been searching for years to find. But surprisingly, it's not what they expected. The actual iceberg damage appears to be confined to a maybe a 30-foot length of the bow. It wasn't like a gash. And they estimate the size of gaps and puncture holes in the hull add up to just 11 square feet, one square meter. We've also known about it since the ship was found, as we can see it in Ken Marshall's paintings. On top of all that, we also have survivor testimony from inside the boiler room stating where the iceberg damage was. There was also a dive that used sonar imagery to look through the mud. So we know exactly where the iceberg damage is. So if we line up the iceberg damage with the photo mosaic, we can see it aligns perfectly. So to answer your question again, it's right here.